Right now, if you saw a stranger collapse to the floor, how would you react? Would you grab your phone and dial 911 or would you spare them a precious second through CPR? Our final Remarkable Woman nominee wants everyone to take the second option. And 7 News reporter Colin Roos shows us how she's helping the Ohio Valley hit the perfect beat. Between 100 and 120 compressions per minute, Melissa Burkett keeps the rhythm going. The critical care educator at Wheeling Hospital doesn't just know how to restart a heart. She teaches other medical professionals to do it. Between bedside training and hands-on arrhythmia classes, Burkett knows what to do when a life is on the line and is on a mission to teach everyone to be a first responder in a pinch. It's a role she's taken on even before it became her passion. Before I was in my nursing career, I was a lifeguard, and I remember it was a July 4th, um, and I had a gentleman that had drowned, and we had pulled him out from the lake and performed CPR on him. There are two acronyms she wants our area to be more familiar with, CPR and AEDs. She's spoken and given training at the Marshall County Fairgrounds, the Moundsville Lions Club, and the Bridgeport Rotary, among many others, in a nine-week campaign. And anywhere she goes, these mannequins go too. My kids growing up, even through elementary school, I would have mannequins at the house when I would have people come over to be certified. And as early as elementary school, my kids were performing CPR on the mannequins. Burkett says becoming CPR certified is much easier than you might expect, with modern technology offering you instant feedback. New training models like these click and flash when the compressions are done correctly. She says seeing her students go from nervous to confident in front of the mannequins is nothing short of a huge success. I absolutely love it. I love that people want to learn because I think it's extremely important. Like women, we are less likely to receive bystander CPR compared to men for a multitude of reasons. Burkett considers her nomination an honor to even be asked when she just wants to keep the pulse of the Ohio Valley peaking. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. Burkett has also been offering her time for heart health. The proceeds from many of her trainings at local fitness classes go to the American Heart Association. Experience